Questions 11 through 20 on the 2016 Grade 8 AMC 8. Determine how many two-sided numbers satisfy the following property when the number is added to the number obtained by reversing its digits. The sum is 132. We have a number of the form AB, and then when you reverse the digits, the number will be of the form BA. AB is actually 10A plus B, right? For example, if you had 52, 52 is actually 5 times 10 plus 2 which is 50 plus 2, which is 52. So that's really how you would write it. Similarly, BA is 10B plus A. And they're saying that when you take these two numbers and you add them together, it equals 132. So when you add them, it equals 132 like that. OK, so let's do this. Let's add uh, like terms. We get 11A plus 11B is equal to 132. Divide through by 11, and you'll get a plus b is equal to 12. All right, so we have to create some number, a, b, where a plus b is 12. All right, I don't think that should be too much of a problem. Let's make a little table here. And let's see what we get. So I've got a and b, and I have to ensure that they both add up to 12. Okay, well... The smallest a can be is uh, 0, right? I don't think they say anything about conditions, so 0. But if a is 0, b is 12, and b can't be 12, b is just a single digit. So similarly, 1, 11, 2, and 10, those don't work. But 3 does, 3 and 9. 4 and 8, 5 and 7, 6 and uh, 6, that would work. 7 and 5. Um, 8 and 4, and finally 9 and 3. And then once you get to 10, obviously A can't be 10. A, A, A has to be a single digit. So the only ones that work are these guys right here. So how many did I get? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7, therefore number 11, the answer is B. Jefferson Middle School has the same number of boys and girls three-fourths of the girls and two-thirds of the boys went on a field trip. What fraction of the students on the field trip were girls? Well, the number of boys equals the number of girls. And two, or sorry, three over four times G plus two over three times B is the number of students that went on the field trip. So I'm just going to assign some numbers here. We're dividing by four, we're dividing by three, so 3 times 4, 12, I think that will be sufficient. 12 boys, 12 girls. So therefore, 3 over 4 of 12 would be 8. And 2 over 3 of 12 is, um, I'm sorry, it would be 9. <laughs> and 2 over 3 would be 8. Okay, so we have uh, 9 girls and 8 boys that go on the field trip. And therefore, 17 students went on the field trip. So they're saying, what fraction of that is girls? Well, there was nine girls, so nine of the 17. And that's pretty much it. So 12, the answer is B. Two different numbers are randomly selected from the set minus 2, minus 1, 0, 3, 4, 5, and multiplied together. What is the probability that the product is 0? Well, we don't have that many uh, choices we have to select two. So the first one, we've got uh, six choices. And then because they have to be different, I can't choose the same one. So I've got five of the remaining to choose from for the second number. And that is 30. So there's 30 possible uh, sets. And we want the product to be 0. So the probability is going to be something over 30. 30, of course, represents the total. How do we get a product of 0? Well, the first number, if it's a 0, then anything that goes here, if you take a product, will be a 0. So if the first number is 0, there's only one way of doing that. And then the remaining, I've got f 5 choices. So that's uh, 5. And then similarly, you can do the same scenario with the second number. If the second number is 0, 
and the first number was not zero, it was any of the other five numbers like that. So I've got one choice there, five choices for the first number, and that's five. So to make a zero product from two numbers, there's ten ways of doing that. So ten goes in the numerator right there. And therefore the probability in lowest terms would be one over three. And since you're practicing, I encourage you to write out all 30 of these, and you'll see that definitely the 10 of them will have a product of zero. zero. So number 13, the answer is D. Carl's car uses a gallon of gas every 35 miles, and his gas tank holds 14 gallons when it is full. One day, Carl started with a full tank of gas, drove 350 miles, bought eight gallons of gas, and continued driving to his destination. When he arrived, his gas tank was half full. How many miles did Carl drive that day? Well, we have 35 miles per gallon, and that means when he drove uh, initially with a full tank of gas, his tank had 14. That's pretty much what they say, that 14 gallons when it's full. So he drives 350 miles, and therefore, he uses 10 gallons of gas. 35 miles per gallon, 350 would use 10. So he uses 10, so now his tank has 4. All right. Then he buys 8. So he buys 8, and now his tank is up to 12. And then they're saying he continues to drive, and then at the end, his tank is half full. So half full, full is 14, so half full would be 7. So that means to go from 12 to 7, he had to have consumed 5. So in addition to this 350, he drives another number of miles, and I have to figure out how many miles that is. Well, he drove enough to consume 5, miles, uh, five gallons of gas, so 35 miles per gallon times 5 gallons and that's going to give me how much he drove, which would be 35 times 5, which is 175. So that day he drove 350 plus 175, and that is 525. So number 14, the answer is A. What is the largest power of 2? That is a divisor of 13 to the power of 4 minus 11 to the power of 4. Well, I'll just do it in the most straightforward way. I don't want to make this any more complicated than it needs to be. 13 to the power of 4 is 28561. 11 to the power of 4 is 14641. When you subtract them, you get 13920. And if you keep dividing by 2, you'll find that it is divisible by 32. And that's it, really. 32 is 2 to the power of 5. So number 15, the answer is C. Annie and Bonnie are running laps around a 400-meter oval track. They are started running together, but Annie has pulled ahead because she runs 25% faster than Bonnie. How many laps will Annie have run when she first passes Bonnie? Well, we have Annie and Bonnie and their speeds, well, SA and SB, let's say. And we are told that SA, her speed, Annie's, is 25% faster, so 1.25 times SB. And then we use the formula speed is equal to distance over time, or time is equal to distance over speed, either one. Now, when they first uh, meet, Basically, that means that Annie has lapped Bonnie. The times are equal. So that means the distance over speed, which equals time, can be equated because both of those represent time. This is the time for Annie, and this is the time for Bonnie. And they meet when the times are equal. So for Annie, the distance would be d, but because Annie's faster, she's actually going to be D plus 400 because she's run an, an exactly one lap more in order to catch um, the other girl, Bonnie. And her speed, well, it's 
right now it's we'll just put SA. Bonnie is just D and her speed is SB. Okay. So now what we do is we substitute that guy. So we got D plus 400 and instead of SA I'm going to put 1.25 SB. And that means D over SB like that. So this basically the SB's cancel so all we're left with is just D plus 400 and if I cross multiply 1.25 D. So 400 is equal to 0.25 D and therefore D is equal to 1600. Now what they're asking is how many laps will Annie have run? Well Annie runs a total of D plus 400. D plus 400 is 1600 plus 400 which is 2000 and since one lap is 400 meters if you divide this by 400 you get 5 and that represents the number of laps that she ran Annie. So number 16 the answer is D. An ATM password at Fred's bank is composed of four digits from 0 to 9 with, with repeated d digits allowable. If no password may begin with the sequence 911, then how many passwords are possible? We have four possible digits. All of them seems like you can choose any uh, digit from 0 to 9. Okay, and, and you can repeat digits. So that means for every digit, you've got 10 possible choices, each possible choice being from 0 to 9. So the total you multiply, and it looks like that's 10,000. But we can't have anything with 911, so we've got to figure out how many of those we have and then subtract from that. So 911 would be of this form. And then the last digit can be anything from 0 to 9, so I've got 10 possible choices for that guy. So that means basically that the 9 was here, the 1 was here, the 1 was here. So one choice fixed as a 9, one choice fixed as a 1, and one choice fixed as a 1. And for the last one, I can put anything from 0 to 9. So this is 10. So these 10 is what are not allowed. So this is the total. This is what's not allowed. To get my answer, I have to take this and subtract from it that. So 10,000 minus 10, and that's 9990. So number 17, the answer is D. In an all-area track meet, 216 sprinters enter a 100-meter dash competition. The track has six lanes, so only six sprinters can compete at a time. At the end of each race, the five non-winners are eliminated, and the winner will compete again in a latter race. How many races are needed to determine the champion sprinter? So we have round one, round two, round three. Let's see what we get. So the number of runners in round one at the very beginning is 216. And each race can hold six runners. So 216 divided by six, which is 36, is the number of races. So in each race, we have only one person that actually advances because the other five are eliminated. So it's pretty tough standards here. So in round two, only 36 sprinters will start. Each uh, race has six runners, so 36 divided by six, which is six for the number of races. And again, only one sprinter per race advances to the third round, which I guess is the final. And that will have one race. So the total number of races is 36 plus six plus one, which is 43. So number 18, the answer is C. The sum of 25 consecutive even integers is 10,000. What is the largest of these 25 consecutive even integers? All right, so an even integer is of the form 2n. So consecutive, the next one will be 2n plus 2, 2n plus 4, and so on, right? And we have how many? 25 of them. So eventually we'll get up to 2n plus 48. And there's 25 of them if you write them out. Now we have to add them. So we add them all up, and there's going to be, there's 25 of these guys, right? 25 of them. 
So the sum, uh, that's going to be 25 times 2n. And then I've got to add up these numbers, 2 plus 4 plus 6 dot 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 all the way up until 48. Okay, and that sum they're saying is 10,000. Okay, well the 25 times 2n, that's easy, that's 50n. But I've got to add up these guys. I'm going to factor out a 2. When I do, I get 1 plus 2 plus 3, all up until 24. And then this, I can easily use that formula. Those of you, you know, this is a grade 8, so you may not know this. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, all the, all the way up until some number n. That can be added with the formula n times n plus 1 over 2. If you didn't know that, that's no problem. I'm showing it to you now. So this is 10,000, this is 50n plus 2, and then th this would be, according to that formula, 24 times 25 and divided by 2. Okay, so 50n, 24 times 25 is what, 600, I think? And let's see here, we've got to now just subtract from 10,000. So that's going to be 9,400 is equal to 50n, and therefore dividing through by 50n is equal to 188. And they want the largest of those, and the largest of those was this guy, 2n plus 48. So 2n plus 48 is going to be 2 times 188 plus 48. And that is 424. So, number 19, the answer is E. The least common multiple of A and B is 12. The least common multiple of B and C is 15. What is the least possible value of the least common multiple of A and C? All right, 12, which is basically 2 times 2 times 3. And that's the LCM of A and B. So let's make it easy for us. Let A be 2 times 2. And let B be the 3. And that's how you would get an LCM of 12. OK, then they say that the LCM of B is 15. So 15 is just 3 times 5. So B and C, well, B has already been assigned as being 3. So that means C must be 5. And now they want the least common multiple of A and C. A is 2 times 2, C is 5. So the least common multiple of A and C, LCM of A and C would be 2 times 2 times 5, which is, of course, 20. Number 20, the answer is 20, and that is choice A.